parents and guardians, I stand before you in our brand new Benton Hall Academy Engineering by Design STEAM Center, and I am so honored and proud to serve as your Superintendent of Schools. But even more important, I am so honored and proud of our faculty and staff, as well as all of our students and the community that supports the school district. Today, we are providing a video for all of you for each specific school building that is all about reintroducing our school and many new phases of our schools to you. Once I am done, the videos will begin with each building principal, Mrs. Dooley, Mrs. Lindsay, and Mr. Long. They will be giving you a brief overview of some of the accomplishments that are going on in each of our schools. Then, they will be giving you a virtual tour of all of our brand new facilities as a result of the capital project, which thankfully all of you and our supportive community approved to have completed. The video will also introduce you to many other staff members that do a tremendous job to support our schools. Director of Transportation, Director of Facilities, Director of Food Services and Nutrition, as well as our school nurses will all be speaking to you and also giving you a tour of our new facilities. So I hope that you enjoy our video. As a reminder, should any of you ever have any questions or concerns, posted on our district's website and Facebook page is a who to call contact sheet that we encourage you to look at and use as a reference. And feel free to contact us for anything, for any moment, at any time, and we will always be here to support you, but more importantly, to support the children of the Little Falls City School District. It is my hope that you enjoy this video and thank you very much. Hi everybody, this is Leanne Dooley. I'm Little Falls High School principal and thank you for joining me today. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the capital project and all of the thought process and planning that went into this. Um, previously to starting the capital project, we had been expanding our math and art program um, and we had been adding courses, College Now courses, AP courses, and um, this space really has improved our offering. We actually were able to add a high school art teacher this year to add to our program. Um, and really our program focuses on the process and not the end product because it allows us to um, allow our students to be creative and problem solve all of those skills that they're going to need when they leave here in whatever they're going into, whether it's the workforce or whether it's college. So we really wanted to design a space um, and we already had the program for it, but we really, this space allows us to now expand on all of the ideas that we've had. So the spaces were created to um, be very similar to what they would experience in the workplace and also in a college setting. So it's very open um, and it evolves uh, based on what the students need and what the teachers need. The space is meant for them to be creative. Um, and really, if they're working in one room, it allows them, because there's so many windows and they're interconnected, it allows the teacher to be able to be in one room and still supervise students in another room um, because they need to use whatever's in that area. So it really is a, a wonderful space. Students are um, enjoying it now uh, and creating some wonderful stuff that is going to be presented to the community uh, later on this year. So um, this space and our program is is really leading to some wonderful things. So the other, some of the other courses that we have is we have computer science courses that we've added over the years um, from AP computer science to actually another computer repair type of class which leads students to a CompTIA A plus certification. Um, and this actually gives students some real world experience in the computer world and they can actually go into an entry level tech job um, because a lot of uh, entry level are looking for that certification. So students are um, 
uh, working on lots of things uh, hands-on uh, with all the new equipment that we've received over the year. And we've also created an internship that we had over the summer and had quite a few students participate in that and helped our tech department. Um, obviously because we're a one-to-one -one district, there's lots and lots of computers that need to be worked on throughout the school year and over the summer. Um, and in order for us to do that, we actually have to find help. And what better way to do that than to give the students that have been through the course some um, entry-level internship um, abilities to be able to do that. So these are just some of the programs that we've introduced over the years. Um, and we are actually going to continue to expand more. Uh, one of the other things that we're looking at is um, in our business department is creating and looking at a CTE program that is done right here at Little Falls um, that would lead to a small business uh, entrepreneurship. So that would lead to a certificate similar to what they receive at BOCES. Uh, but it allows us to keep our students right here. So please be on the lookout for those over in the next coming years um, because it's going to be a very, very interesting program for us. Um, and one of the other things that I wanted to talk about is we have a couple of multi-purpose spaces that are in this building that are going to be used similar to the one that I'm in right now that are going to be used for smaller classes, combined classes, interdisciplinary classes, um, which allows students to, to actually teachers to partner with other teachers to work on projects. So this is going to be an absolute awesome opportunity for our students to do some cross-curricular stuff. Um, and actually be creative. And one of the things that we're really starting to focus on, like I said earlier, is really focusing on the process rather than the end product because that's an important thing for our student to understand because they have to learn that it's okay to make mistakes and even fail at times so that they can learn from that situation uh, and make changes. So that is really what we are really pushing for here. Um, and it's difficult for many of our students because that's a hard concept for them. But students that are embracing it are really doing well with it and they're really getting into the education system. So I'm super excited where we're headed and this is going to be an awesome opportunity for our entire community right now. Um, the other thing that I want to take a minute and talk to all of you about is actually thanking everybody for their continued support through COVID, through the building project, and your continued support with everything that we bring to you. And there's going to be lots and lots of changes over the next few years that I am super, super excited to bring to our students and our community. So please come and visit us and see these new spaces. And if you have ever have any ideas, please contact me with any um, things that you want to see or want us to try. All right. Thank you, everybody. Hello Little Falls community, I'm Stephanie Johnson, the Director of Child Nutrition for Little Falls School. Um, we're excited to announce that our students are eating free again this year. So what that means is that they get one free breakfast and one free lunch if they want seconds or snacks and those are available to purchase at both of our schools. So my job consists of many factors. One of the most important factors is developing the menu for the students. So each day the menu must consist of five components. Those are meat, meat alternative, whole grains, vegetable, fruit, or dairy. A student must take at least three of those to make a meal and one of those components must be a fruit or a vegetable. Um, those, cons those components are also portioned out depending on their age group that they are in and the state audits us on a regular basis to make sure we are doing this correctly. So our school has been going through some major renovations and two of those renovations have been the Benton Hall kitchen and the middle school and high school kitchen. Um, with those renovations we received a lot of new equipment and some of those equipments are a combi oven. So what the combi oven is, is it's a regular oven, it's an air fryer and it's a steamer all in one. So you can cook three different ways in one unit. Um, we also received a new steamer which will allow for more pans to fit into it which is good because of all the students we need to feed. 
so we can cook at once instead of like three or four separate times. Um, we mostly use that to steam our vegetables. We also received a new gas stove. It's a two burner and we have not used this yet. It's brand new so this will allow us to co cook um, soups down at the Benton Hall kitchen. We also received a new walk-in freezer and a new walk-in cooler which is great because the um, ones that were here were pretty old and the temperature fluctuated a lot and we also oh, we had to have them repaired quite a bit. So now we have those which allows for a lot more space to store things and we know that they're safe with the temperature. We also received new milk coolers to go on the line so the kids can go in and get their own milk and we don't have to worry about that also because they're kept cold. Uh, we also received some new ovens to cook in which are really good also because they are the ones that were here were old so these are brand new and the temperature cooks um, the same throughout. So that's about it and Hi, my name is Deborah Taylor. I'm the senior bus driver at Little Falls City School District. And I just want to thank the parents for their cooperation in, in this year's transportation. I know some of you are taking your children to school for us and we do appreciate that. Others are allowing us the privilege of taking their children on the school buses and we thank you for that privilege. So being patient with your driver is so important because we know COVID has changed the way we do transportation. So we ask that you please be patient and cooperate with them. And we thank you for the patience and cooperation that you've had so far in this year. We know that winter's coming. With that, it brings snow and ice and unpredictable weather conditions. So we ask please that if your bus driver's running late, just have a little patience with him. He'll get there in time. He's just being concerned about the safety of the children. Also, at the bus stops, whether it's at your driveway or in the city of Little Falls, we ask that you please keep the children 15 feet away from the bus stop so that they can stay safe. We know that snow and ice can build up and, you know, slippery conditions can happen. So if you could keep them 15 feet away from the bus stop, we would appreciate that. And again, I just want to say thank you to all of you for the privilege of transporting your precious cargo, your children. So again, if you ever have any questions, please call the principal's office, any concerns, anything like that, and let them know and they will get it to us. Thank you so much. Hi folks, I'm Mike Kelly, Director of Facilities here at the District, and I've been asked to take a few minutes to go over some of the recent upgrades that we've done to our buildings during our capital project. This really has been kind of a meat and potatoes project for us. Over half of the project cost has been infrastructure issues that needed to be dealt with, including new roofs on both buildings, new doors and windows, including the complete replacement of windows at the Benton Hall Academy building, uh, new secure vestibules, new boilers, new chillers, new air handlers, UV lighting and a lot of the air handlers that provide protection from virus. We've also installed new fire alarm systems, new security alarm systems, and we've also created secure vestibules at all three of our buildings. In the past, we didn't have the ability to stop someone once they had come through the front door getting into the rest of the building. We now have that ability. The secure vestibules are accessed by an A-phone system on the outside of the building. You simply push the button. One of our office staff will allow you into the secure vestibule, at which point you'll be asked to provide documentation in regards to who you are and why you're there. Once that's been provided, you'll then be buzzed into the main office where you'll be asked to sign in and then either escorted into the building or whoever you came for will be escorted to the office so that you can meet them. This has been a real upgrade for us uh, as far as security is concerned on all fronts, fire and, and security, and also the ability to control the access points into all the buildings. And 
on behalf of the district, I'd like to thank the taxpayers for approving this project. It's been a real benefit to the district and to the staff and students here at a Little Falls City School District. Again, thank you. Hi, my name is Jen Hurley. I'm the primary nurse at the middle school and high school. Um, our county Department of Health has came out with some exciting news. At the beginning of the year, we were only accepting a PCR rapid test or a send out test. Now we're accepting antigen tests as well. Hopefully this will cut down on wait times and kids can get back in school sooner. Hi, my name is Mandy Krim and I'm the float nurse between Fenton Hall and the middle school high school. Recently, Herkimer County Department of Health has changed the quarantine guidelines from six feet to three feet. And we're already seeing a decrease in the number of amount of students we've had to send home. Hi, my name is Judy Gornchek. I am the primary nurse here at Benton Hall Academy. Currently, we are working on vision and hearing screenings for K, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. If your child has a concern, we will send home a notice. Um, we're also working on physicals um, for those grades mentioned. If you have not submitted your physical yet, please do so. And we want to thank you for your continued patience during this COVID pandemic. So I'm Sue Wallace-Eaton. I am the site coordinator for Connected Community Schools. And I'll talk a little bit about some of the things that we do here at Little Falls. One of the major things that all of the kids love and the, the families love is our hub that's here. Um, so during the day the kids are able to come in and help themselves to tangible items that are here. Some of those tangible items are food that they can take home in their backpacks in the evening. There's snacks for them during the day in between lunchtime um, and breakfast time and after school for the kids. Lots of the kids come in after school in between school and sports to grab a snack to head out on the bus or before practice. Um, there's also clothing in here. if something happens during the day that a student needs to come in and get some clothing, we have clothing. Um, and we also have school supplies, so if the kid is in class and forgets his pencil, he's able to just come downstairs and grab a pencil or a binder or whatever he needs during the day. So that was that's one of the things that we have here. Um, another major thing that we have is we uh, take on link referrals, and the link referrals come from a panel of um, professionals at each school building and they identify a family or a student that may be having some struggles and they do a link referral to myself and then I'm able to reach out to the family and connect them with any other services that are out in the community that they may need. Um, whether it's counseling or uh, Medicaid or they need to get it to a dentist, there's all kinds of services that I can help them to get hooked up with out in the community. And another major thing that we're going to be doing in the future is family engagement nights. So we're going to try to be getting families and students into the school building and doing some fun activities within the school. Hi, my name is Sarah Phillips. Um, I'm the SEALS coordinator working here with Connected Community Schools. What SEAL stands for is Social Emotional Academic Learning Support. What that looks like at the school does range. It can range from lunch groups and breakfast or homeroom groups that might help kids get to know each other, make friends, um, work through different conflicts and stuff. Uh, we also offer some structured lessons for, um, the, for any of the students. Those lessons could look like lessons in decision making, uh, identifying personal strengths, creating goals for yourself, different things like that. So we're going to be offering that throughout the school year um, at Benton Hall and at the high school and middle school. Hi, my name is Jennifer Smith. I'm the Director of Pupil Personnel for the Little Falls City School District. I oversee the special ed programs for the entire district, so I work closely with all three building principals. At Little Falls, we really pride ourselves at our efforts we take to have the least restrictive environment and we pr promote inclusion as often as possible. There are many reasons why a child might need special education services as there are 13 classifications under which a child could qualify for services. If at ever there is a point there are concerns that a child may need special education, the first step in that referral process would be to contact my office and I would then walk you through that referral process. The Committee on Special Education 
as of which a parent would be a member of, as well as the teachers and even sometimes the students, would carefully work together to create an individualized education program and they, we would then monitor that program, ultimately looking for student success as we foster independence and strength as a leader in the community as, as a future graduate. Um, please contact my office if ever there are concerns and thank you for being a member of our team.